Come on, board. He will try to claw me or just hit me with one wing, you see? So the first line of defense is the wing. Okay, hi guys, uh, Miha here from Black Raven Solutions. Um, you know, support the channel by liking the video, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. This always helps out uh, in order you get more content and you know more interesting information. So uh, today's topic is a special one. It's uh, animals intelligence. Uh, we humans, we think. Uh, of ourselves as highly evolved and intelligent and conscious uh, beings but let's say for for most of the population on this planet it's the completely opposite um, the consciousness is not really consciousness but a drigo, uh, ego driven illusion or dream we live every day animals are truly masters of uh, living a conscious life limited by their own experience, existence and limitations of the body. Uh, so they always live in the now, they always attend to the tasks that are most uh, or in the top, at the top priority at the level. This is something that you can learn from them. So we have two cats and three weeks ago I brought in a pigeon that was run over probably by a car had a broken leg and a broken wing and we took him to the vet and the vet said okay now the pigeon needs to be taken care of for 14 days uh, taking medication and antibiotics and so on and probably he will not live uh, I knew that I don't know I just knew that he's strong enough and willing to live his life further and that's why I took him in and really take good care of him. So the pigeon is a wild pigeon, never stayed with any humans. So, you know, like uh, most humans treat pigeons like flying rats, very negative, uh, but it's just the opposite, you know. Uh, the pigeons are highly intelligent. Okay, they make a lot of mess pooping all around, you know, not taking care of that stuff. They make quite a mess when they're making a nest. Um, they're loud, you know, yeah, but you know, they're also very intelligent and all the native Indian cultures say that when a pigeon's come into, when a pigeon, you see a pigeon flying or it comes into your life, you know, it's a sign of good news. Uh, also, you know, in the prior times, the messenger of peace was a white pigeon holding the olive branch. This is something that now I can really support because this pigeon borrowed was his name or is his name uh, really changed my life uh, and the life of my wife and you know everything happened uh, the way it is so let's check on Borut and I will show you how intelligent a pigeon really is okay so this is Borut Borod has been living in our bathroom for now, like say, three weeks. Okay, he's very calm and he has his space. So it's this corner, he rarely moves out of it. Uh, he has a lot of uh, space, but you know, he's staying in one place, getting better. So I want to show you um, how he defends his space and the way he protects himself if he sees a danger. Okay. So if I try to approach, he 
you will try to claw me or just hit me with one wing you see so the first line of defense is the wing come on board and then it's the clawing okay so you see each time an animal is threatened and wants to present uh, itself like it's bigger they get puffed okay it doesn't matter whether it's a cat a dog a pigeon a lion they all or an owl they always make themselves bigger so now you see that he's stressed so he's shaking his wings okay when we back up yeah, I borrowed. it's just okay so he understands uh, before i took him to the vet i asked him you know do you want me to take care of you you want me to save you and he agreed I don't know on what level it was just the communication so he was okay I, I told him you know you must be brave and he's brave and he's been a real fighter and a real champ taking all the nasty antibiotics and drugs for 14 days not making a sound uh, so you know he's really here now you know he must he must do a little fitness like this we try to make him fly because his muscles atrophied uh, because he didn't move them for 14 days yeah yeah so he's need not really uh, hitting me hard just you know just go away come on board we never tried to pet him or hold him so this was the first time and you know you see he really backs away uh, into a corner and it's a nice he's a nice pigeon very lovely uh, very healthy and you know it's a nice animal so hope you enjoyed the video leave the comments if you have any questions regarding saving animals um, I don't know how it's in your country but I can tell you the law and the procedure the veterinarian procedure in Slovenia probably everywhere else is basically the same so if you see an animal you know don't just say ah you know uh, it, it will die it's already broken already injured uh, try to save it uh, take it take it her him to the vet and then you know it, you could just find the place if you don't have the time and, or energy to take care of it and, you know you get a lot you learn a lot um, I don't know the nature is thankful and so is the pigeon and that's it guys subscribe notification bell like comment and you know we like some discussion that's it enjoy bye Okay, um, so Borut is ready uh, to fly again, uh, he already flown all, all over our bathroom and his wings and muscles are strong enough now um, and we believe that he's ready you know, to resume his normal life. So Borut, uh, we saved Borut um, three weeks ago. Uh, he was probably ran over by a bike, a motorcycle or a car. He had a broken wing and a broken leg and we fixed that uh, at the vet and then we had to take care of him, uh, which was quite uh, hard and a little bit stressful because we have two domestic cats inside uh, our apartment and we had to take care that the cats didn't even know that he was here the first two days so he really was able to rest and be psychologically um, let's say not stressed but relaxed uh, to heal quicker and this is what he did he's quite a champion so Borut, Borut the, the fighter um, if I would name him again I would name him, name him Rocky because he's really like a Rocky Balboa, he didn't even win. Uh, we forced feed him antibiotics and uh, drugs uh, to help him recovery and uh, help him not get infected. And you know, he, he was really great, uh, a true fighter, and he he did what he had to do. 
and today now we believe he's ready to fly again and we will release it. Hey mom! What did you do with my flowers? Hey! Come here, are you ready? We're going to put you in a cage and then we're going to release you, okay? You've been a great boy and you know, we were really lucky that you were part of our lives only for a short time. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh great! Oh great! Okay! Nice! So now I see that you can fly, no problem! What about? Come here! Okay boy! <laughs> Let's go! Oh nice! Nice! Yeah, Come on! Come on Borut! Hey, don't worry boy! So that was his spot and that's the safest spot for him. So he always goes there when there's trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, they're so fast. So the easiest way to, to catch a bird is by using the towel. Okay. You just cover him up. He does not see. And that's it. Let's go inside. Okay. So now we are going out. Okay, so boy, uh, fly safe, um, take care of yourself better than before and enjoy, you know, uh, tell, tell your friends that not all people are bad and want to, you know, kill you or chase you away or poison you, but you also take care of animals. Okay, so here we go, back to the freedom that you deserve. Exercises. So this is in the, the first three weeks that he's really outside. Otherwise he was uh, just you know looking through the window, but now he's really out. So now you see the cat. <coughs> the cat wants to grab him already. <laughs> wants to go out. She she she's a real she's a real predator. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. There is a bird we want to eat him. <laughs> That's the best entertainment. So, maybe Borut is not ready yet. Uh, he needs a little bit more time. Oh, okay. He's going up, but that does not mean that he can uh, fly, you know, already. So we will give him some space and time and just leave him on the balcony. So he will, you know, just fly and jump whenever he'll be ready. 